everyone. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to create categories and then apply them to programs. So you'll want to use categories to filter down your programs and make it much more simpler for people to register for your programs. So for example, sometimes you'll see categories as lessons, camps, clinics, classes, and then if they click the camps category, it'll only show programs for camps. Click the clinics category, only show programs for clinics. Um, some other options some programs do is by sport. So if you have multiple sports, so you can filter it by football, by basketball, by baseball, you could do it that way. Now to add a new category, just click add new category to the right under the categories tab. You could add a header image if you'd like and put that there. You want to put the title. So for this one, we'll just do test basketball. I have an abbreviated title. SB ball. Here you can choose the sport that it's assigned to. So we'll do basketball. Group type. You could select this if you'd like. It's not required, but you could have a camp, class, clinic, private lesson, or team. We'll do camp. Make sure to add a brief description of this category. And then make sure is active is selected on. And then registration is set to open as well so people could register for it. Now under additional info, these are just additional details that you could add to the category. So any other additional details you want to add, a location summary such as where it's taking place, time summary for what time it's taking place. You could add a location so people know where it's actually taking place. And then if you have more like another page with more info, you can link that page there. You could set number of hours to pay before registration expires. Just more additional details you could add to this category. And then under registration options, you have the option to set a maximum age, then a minimum age. Same thing with a maximum grade, and minimum grade, if you'd like to do that. The slug will be what will show up after your URL. So for this one, we'll do test basketball. So if it was just a camp, if you just wanted to make a category just for camps, you'd make the slug camps. And then the last part of your URL will just say camps. So this way it just filters it down better. The weight will be how it will show up on the registration page. So the higher the number, the higher it will show up on the page. So let's say I do number uh, number nine. This will be the first option. And then if I did another category with a weight of eight, that would be the second. A weight of seven would be third, and then so on and so forth. And then these are just additional registration notes that you could have uh, if you want. And then once you're done, just click Save. Now to add it to a program, just go to Program Packages. Go to the program that you want to use it for. So for this one, we'll just do Playbook Success, only the best. Just go in and edit it. And then if you scroll down on the main page, there'll be a category option. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the one we just made, Test Basketball. Select that. Hit Save. And then that program will be assigned to that category. So this way, people will be able to filter it down more. And that is how you create a category and apply it to programs.